Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app, episode 584. Obedience learned through suffering. I guided Christian Meditation on Hebrews chapter 5, verses 8 through 10. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace, Jesus Christ. I do a couple different styles of meditation in this podcast. This one will be a full guided Lectio Divina style, and it will draw on centuries of experience in Christian meditation. I also do a freeform style, which means I have more open space and silence, so please use them both to your advantage. For now, though, let us dedicate this time to the Lord. O oh God, we make this time sacred unto you and do the best we can to center our thoughts and our minds on you. God bless that our focus will draw us ever nearer to you. And this we say in Jesus' name, amen. Now in this moment, continue to allow God's peace to come into you, to take from you those things that are harmful or distracting. Anytime an unwanted or unwelcome thought comes into your mind, just let it gently flow out right into Christ's arms. Take his yoke upon you and have rest. I invite you to have rest in your body now as you ponder the love God has for you Allow breath to come silently and harmlessly into you. Allow breath to come silently and harmlessly into you and feel God's peace continue to wash throughout your body. Wash away any tension, wash away any tightness leaving your mind and your whole soul ready to focus on the word of the Lord in his scriptures. How wonderful it is that we have a God who has prepared such a plan for you and me. With his infinite love, he enfolds us. He created a universe to do just that. And he sent his son for you and I what a love God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that if we believe in him we should not die but have everlasting life rejoice in that beautiful thought Be embraced in the love of God and let all cares and worries and fears and anxieties and let them all go. Let the tension in your body go. Let the pain in your body go. As we submit our hearts to God, as we submit our thoughts to God, as we submit all that we are to God, He fills us with his peace, little at a time. Sometimes these spiritual transformations are rapid, but sometimes they're so imperceptible we can barely see them. Now let us focus on reading from the scripture. First we'll begin in the King James Version. Continuing from last week's scripture. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Declared by God, high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Continue pondering the scripture.
And now from the N-A-B-R-E translation. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Declared by God, high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek. Continue pondering on this scripture. What profound doctrine. Seeing that Jesus is and was perfect, it's hard to imagine him learning anything. And so there is a whole study we could do on just this issue. So I want to focus instead on what we are called to emulate. We are called to learn from our suffering. We are not forced to, but we are invited to. Many times we seem to learn nothing from our suffering. In many ways, we do not get to choose if we suffer, but we can turn to God and He will transform us through it. So the context of the scripture continues from the previous verses where we were told of the benefits of the weakness of the high priests. Additionally, the physical weakness of Jesus in the flesh demonstrates to us His ability to understand us not only to understand, but to convert our experience to good. Trust in God as He has the power to convert even your worst experiences for His good. Continue pondering this thought. Now let us pray. Dear God, we're grateful for the mighty power of your redemption that you give to us. And in some ways it's hard for us to to truly mean this and say this, but 
we are grateful for those experiences, even suffering, which allow us to draw closer to you. Please help us to be able to transform our thoughts so that we can always have this solidly in our mind, regardless of what comes, so we can trust in your ability to turn all things to our good. For we know that all things can work together for the good of those that love you. Protect us and watch over us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now sit in contemplative silence with the Lord. And now for the application phase, I invite you to ponder what you've learned or experienced here in this brief meditation, and then how you can transform your life as a result, how you can bring this forward into your life to bless you and those around you.
Thank you for joining me today. May God continue to show you the lessons he has for you. Sometimes it takes us a lot of effort to open our eyes to this very point. And I don't think we should ever approach it with shame or judgment. We should just do so with love, even though that God loves us, he allows these things to happen. We should maintain this mindset as we approach him. So that we can transform our thinking so that we can recognize that our suffering has the capacity to strengthen us and improve us. May God bless you this day with this strength. As you feel God's spirit, may you feel a desire to share this meditation, this podcast with those that you care about. You can do so. You can do so by sharing on a podcast player of your choice, wherever you listen to it, or the free iOS and Android app called Recenter with Christ, or the website ChristianMeditationPodcast.com. God loves you despite everything that has happened in your life and everything that will happen in your life that is not entirely pleasant. God still loves you. In fact, he loves you enough to strengthen you through it all and so that you come out the other end refined and prepared for his presence. May God bless you with his spirit of peace even as you go through the trials of this life. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.